The ballots are tallied, statues shined, and red carpet rolled out, which means the 89th Annual Academy Awards are almost here. So what do you need to know before tomorrow night's show for that? We turn to Joel Garzullo. Yeah, I got you guys covered. It's no secret the past two years have been clouded in controversy due to the lack of diversity among nominees. This year, the narrative is different. It's all about history that could be made. Add some too close to call categories into the mix, and you have got an award show that is shaping up to be must see TV. You've got the invitation. The most prestigious award in film will soon be handed out. Of course. To whom? We don't know. But speculating is half the fun. That's a very hard introduction. And while the stars ascend on La La Land for the 89th Annual Academy Awards, it's the cinematic love letter to Los Angeles. That's the film to beat. Oscar voters showered this movie musical with a record tying 14 nominations. Will it make history? I think it will. If it gets more than 11 wins, it dances its way into history. Many experts feel it could get 13. But Best Picture isn't a sure win. What? Come on. <laughs> Prognosticators say the coming-of-age movie Moonlight could steal La La Land's spotlight. Well, she was looking at me like that. Too. Then there's Viola Davis. This is the guy I had dreams and hopes. What about my life? What about me? The Best Supporting Actress nominee has been a virtual lock from the second Fences was released. You ought to know it was time. And all that drama on screen is playing out off screen in the best acting categories. For the ladies, it's a three woman race. This article will bring you a great deal of attention. Natalie Portman was the early frontrunner for Jackie. Then Elle's Isabel Huppert picked up speed. However, now it's Emma Stone who's got momentum on her side. I think it's basically Emma Stone's to lose. Duking it out in the closest competition of the night Manchester by the Sea's Casey Affleck and Fences' Denzel Washington. I think Denzel takes it from Casey Affleck. He directs himself in the movie. What more could this man have done? Lack of diversity has been a major headline in years past. However, this year we have seven diverse actors in the major categories. Is Oscar so white over? I think this year at least. Also in the Best Picture race, lots of diversity. Hidden figures, moonlight, fences. I think it's only going to get stronger. And now it's a place in the history books that's up for grabs. Washington could become the winningest African-American in Oscar history. And La La Land's Damien Chazelle, the youngest to win Best Director. It's very, very exciting. All setting the stage for that show business suspense we love. All right, let's have a little fun for a second and check out Vegas odds. According to Vegas, La La Land takes it for Best Picture. They're the favorite. Now, for Best Actress, they say Emma Stone. And for the men, Casey Affleck, I have to say, guys. Yeah. I don't agree with Vegas on really? this one. No, because you know what? The Guild Award shows are a really good indication. Yeah. So, yes, Emma Stone did win at the SAG. Sorry, this is like very insider baseball. Yes. However, Isabel Huppert wasn't nominated. So I think it's Isabel who could give her a run for her money. I will say this and is Denzel's, your lane. And Denzel's going to so take it. So I'll listen to you. She's Denzel's going to make history. Thank you, Joelle.